Hi, welcome back. My name is Richard and today I am asking myself, is this the beginning of the end for Lightroom Classic? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Richard. I am a photographer based here in the UK, south of UK to be more precise. And I know it has been a while since I have posted a video, so apologies for that. But I thought now was a good time to try and resurrect the channel. Uh, you may recall that, it could have been a while ago, some time ago, I started to do a Lightroom Classic Beginner's Guide, but due to work and family and life and all those other things, I didn't really have time to continue. And you know what? I'm not sure that I will now because I was wondering, is this the beginning of the end for Lightroom Classic? Um, now, just real quick, just to clear one thing up before I start, from here on, I am going to refer to Lightroom Classic as just Classic, and the Lightroom, the desktop cloud version as Lightroom. So when you hear me talk about Classic and Lightroom, they're the platforms that I'm talking about. Now, I've been an avid user of Classic since I started using Adobe products years ago. I've got over 60,000 photos on my hard drive, going back over 10 years, plus hundreds and thousands of work photos on another hard drive. Local storage is the really only option for me for the type of photography that I do, so the cloud-based version was never gonna work for me. Until now, maybe, because one of their most recent updates, Adobe have introduced a new feature that could, could be the beginning of the end for Classic. You tell me, what do you think? Um, so that got me thinking, is Classic not long for this world? Are Adobe going to discontinue it and put all of their resources behind Lightroom I mean, why would they need two platforms if both those platforms essentially do the same thing? And um, so it prompted me to check out Lightroom um, in a bit more detail, leave Classic for a little while, use Lightroom for a day or two and see how I got on. Um, first of all, let's take, the new feature, take a look at the new feature in Lightroom that sort of made me sit up and take notice and that it might be feasible, feasible for me to do that. And that is the access to the local storage straight through Lightroom. You now have two options, one to access your photos in Adobe Cloud and another to browse locally on your hard drive. This means that you can use Lightroom, not Classic, to access folders that are stored locally. But there are some issues with that which I found and I'm gonna come on to those in a second. Um, I did a quick run through of my workflow to see if I could seamlessly migrate from Classic to Lightroom and the answer is no, it's not gonna be as seamless as I would have hoped. Uh, but here's a quick run through of my workflow and I'll show you what I've noticed as I go through it. First thing is you can't seem to import within Lightroom. I used to import within Classic, creating the folder on my hard drive and re renaming the files as they imported. So, but you now have to copy them to your hard drive and rename them there. And it's kind of obvious really, because then you access the local storage tab and you can navigate to that folder via the local the Lightroom local tab. And there they are, they're just in your folder structure where you put them. Now, then I will go through and pick the ones I wanted to keep. I'll press P to flag the photo. Now, in this Lightroom, P hides the sidebar. In classic version, P is flag. So that's one thing I've got to get used to, because in this one, now, Z is flag. But in classic, Z was zoom, or is zoom. Spacebar is zoom in this Lightroom, but spacebars also zoom in the classic as well as it. F is still full screen, so I guess we can be grateful they've kept that the same. Um, there's also no separate um, auto advance option. So in classic, you could tell it to auto advance after pressing P or X to reject it. Now you have to do shift Z to auto advance instead of just Z. Remember Z now picks the photo or flags it. So quickly back to my workflow. Once I've got through all my images and I'd picked or flagged all of my photos, I would go through them and crop, get them centered or adjusted how I would want them. So I've now got all my chosen photos all cropped as I want them. But I would click on the crop option crop as I want and then move to the next photo by pressing command then. The crop window would still be open and I can just drag and go through them really quickly, one after the other, because that crop window stays on the screen when you move photos. Now you have to save the crop, arrow to the next image, reopen the crop again, or press the key keyboard shortcut C 
crop as you want and then save the crop and then could do it again. Open the crop, crop it, blah, blah, blah. Oh, by the way, don't use keyboard shortcut C in classic for crop because that will give you compare, compare view. Crop in classic is obviously R, but R in Lightroom is radial mask. If you want mask in classic, it's shift M. Look, I could go on all day about how the keyboard shortcuts are different, but my point is there are features missing that there seem to be a lot of changes to keyboard shortcuts, etc. So for old guys like me, it's gonna take a while of getting used to when you've been using classic for 10 years, over 10 years like I have. I think it's been 10 years. Um, right, next up, there seems no option to color code photos or folders. I used to color code photos sporadically. Perhaps when I was reviewing and culling, I would spot a particular thing with an image that, um, that I needed to go back to. The last one that I can remember was last week when I did a school shoot portraits and the boy had a, obviously had an accident, had a graze down the side of his face. It was only a temporary blemish, so I thought I wanted to remind myself of that so that I could ask the school to ask the parent if they wanted that to be removed, because I would never do anything like that without checking with the, um, the subject first. But then I could go back to it later because I knew that I'd color code it. Or maybe I saw a holiday shot that I absolutely loved and wanted to share on Instagram. Again, stick a color on it, and I know which one that I wanted to share at a later date. Um, but something that's slightly more annoying for me is that you can't color code folders anymore, which kind of makes sense as they just they're just views of your hard drive. Um, but it's something I used to use and I used to adopt it in my workflow. When I'd culled all the images and deleted the ones I didn't want, I would color the folder yellow. Then I may go through and crop them all and I will color it blue. And then when I fully edited the folder, it would be green. Now this means that if I step away for a day, I can come back knowing exactly what folder is at what stage of my process. It's easy just to pick up and think, yep, they've been cropped, I now need to edit them. Um, and then I would have a set of images culled and cropped and then I could start the next stage of that edit. And then when I'd edit them, I would rate them as three star. That means everything that was flagged with three stars was done and it was a finished photo. Now, when I was messing around with it at this point, I stopped logging all the changes and different series. I'm gonna do, try and do a more comprehensive video on what the differences are. Um, so don't forget to subscribe by the way, because that will be coming as soon as I can get that recorded and released. But now I'm just gonna quickly go through a few things I've noticed in the 24 hours or so that I've been using the new to me Lightroom. So please, if any of these are wrong, let me know in the comments below as after 24 hours, I've not really been able to dig into it, but these are the, the initial things I noticed just from really looking at the interface, doing a quick workflow and importing my images and, and picking and cropping and stuff. So the develop module is now, or is called the detail view. Um, loads of keyboard shortcuts are different as I've mentioned. Add to cloud adds high res images using up your storage allowance, whereas classic could add just a preview, so it takes up no storage space. Uh, the thumbnail strip as you're picking and going along doesn't seem to move with you, it seems to be fixed and you have to manually scroll after you've been flagging. Solo mode is now called single panel mode and the local tab is where you view your photos, so there is no catalog in Lightroom anymore. Things I've noticed are missing altogether, not just different, can't color code folders, can't color code photos. You can't keep the edit option open when you move to the next photo, like I mentioned, so crop. You can't leave that crop box on the screen and keep moving. Um, there's no full, screen mo mo no full screen mode without being in the edit view mode, where then it flicks to a screen where you can't see the number of photos that's in your folder if you're in detail views. You also can't see if you flagged images in the thumbnail unless you're on the image that you wanna see. There's no map view, which I used to love, looking at trips, seeing where your photos were taken and reliving that trip by based on a map. Um, I'm sure there's loads of others. These are just a few that I've, diff differences I've noticed. Like I said, I haven't really gotten into heavy editing yet. So please, please, please comment below if I can be corrected on any of what I've mentioned. Um, still all a bit uncertain to me, but there are a couple of things that I am pretty sure of. Number one, I will notice more differences as I get into it more. Some I'm sure will be good. Some probably not so good for me anyway. Um, some of the previous missing features I've mentioned could be introduced or maybe they're already there and I haven't found them yet. They might be hidden away somewhere in a different menu option, but as I get more familiar with Lightroom and I potentially wean myself off of Classic, I am gonna find those features, I hope. So here's my question. What do you think? Which version do you use? Why? 
And also, do you think Classic will be phased out at some point, or do you think they're just going to run them two side by side and have two versions of Lightroom still? I don't know. Let me know down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff, and I will catch you in the next video. See you then.